Wink, wink. Armenia comes out in the red, Rachia Pagoshin, Azerbaijan in the blue with Talay Mamadov. Talk a little bit of styles, Frederick. Let's start with Pagosian, 24 years old, really in his prime, has taken off the last couple of years. What makes him so special and, and why Armenia is so proud of him? Um, Pogosian, he has a very complete technique. He's a very stable uh, senior wrestler, even he's not uh, that old yet. Um, and he has been in uh, medal matches uh, already, so he's... He's experienced to be here. Um, as you can see, he's very close with his arms all the time. Like he wants to control the match. And Mamadov, he is uh, very, very good in clinch positions. Um, when they get in there, he's uh, good at throwing and good at to stop uh, people. Mamadov has been doing it a while. You talk about experience. He has pretty much seen every moment throughout his career. Yeah, he's very used to uh, be in those uh, medal matches. Incredible consistency for Tale Mamadov. World bronze medalist a year ago, trying to get back onto the European podium. He was a silver medalist two years ago, bronze medalist in 2019. Sometimes we see this... Uh, it's different between the experienced guy who has been in the middle matches uh, a lot of times. Maybe it's a factor in this fight also. Pogosian gets first crack at Parterre. Has him up into the air. Let's see if he can elevate thrust and throw near the edge. Unable to do so. And the momentum carries both wrestlers out of bounds. Looks like Mamadov might have jammed a shoulder in that process on his landing. Yeah, he just landed straight down on the, the shoulder. But he had his uh, grip around uh, Pogosian's uh, waist. And in that position, you cannot throw for a four point correctly. So it's great defense. Missed opportunity for early offense from Armenia. A little more than two minutes into this opening period. Now we can see it's all about the risk control at the moment. Both of them want to control the fight. Fifteen seconds to go. Opening period. Passivity point has been it for Pagosian. Missed opportunity from Parterre. Despite having Mamadov up in the air, he could not get the big throw. And that's how period one will end. A one nothing lead for Rachia Pagosian. At stake, a berth in the gold medal match tomorrow night. Third trip to the Continentals for Pagosian. Took fifth in 2021, last year a bronze, just slowly working his way up the podium. While in the other corner for Mamadov, as we talked about, this is a battle-tested veteran that's been there, and he took the wrong end of this landing on his left shoulder, but these Greco guys are tough. Even though he grimaced in some pain, he has been battling in the first period. Yeah, there have actually been a study of, uh, of wrestlers about the physics and everything, and most of the injuries is in the, is in the shoulders. Absolutely. A lot of torque, a lot of pressure. We're going to see Magomedov, or Mamadov, really try to bring the fight to Pagosian now to try to get that parterre opportunity. But I'll tell you what, Pagosian's doing a nice job of, of initiating himself. Really pushing forward. You don't want to go down in the parterre position right now. He will get one point against him, and Mamadov, who uh, has the latest squad uh, point, he will lead the fight if it will be 1-1. One, one.
pretty good pummeling. You see the pace has really picked up from what we saw in the first period where the two wrestlers were just trying to get wrist control, but you're seeing a little bit more pummeling in this case. And it pays off for Mamadov as he gets the point and a chance to go on top. And if Mamadov, he can lift you up, he has a very good uh, way to throw you for four points or two points every time. Everything has to be exactly right before the referee blows the whistle. And here we go. Key stretch. First opportunity for the 33-year-old Mamadov to go parterre. Trying to sneak that wrench and he gets him over for a turn. That'll be two. Trying to come back the other side near the edge and he has a couple of turns and makes the most of his opportunity. Yeah, in this uh, category, it's very important to take as much as point as you can because the table can turn just in uh, 20 seconds. They are just so fast. Mamadov taking a long listen over at his corner. You don't see that too often during the match, but the wrestler, Tale, looking directly at his coach for some instructions as the warning was being given about the fingers. And that's a clever moment just to take, just to look at the coaches, see what they have to say. See how they change up strategy if they do at all. Mamadov with five in this second period, leading by four. It's always interesting to watch the dynamics of the three officials working together. You saw the judge in the back holding up the blue paddle, meaning he wanted Mamadov possibly to go back down underneath, not doing enough, but it was not second by the mad chairman. Yeah, exactly. They have to be, uh, they have to agree about the decision before it's, uh, before he can blow the whistle and put him down in Patel. Mamadov hanging on to the wrist. He has the wrist control right now. One last opportunity with the disengagement from Pagoshin. He looked for the arm throw, can't hit it. Five seconds to go. Tale Mamadov behind a strong second period advances to the gold medal round tomorrow night. He is yeah. back into the finals for the second time in three years.